Hi everybody, this is Lindy. So we're going to take a leisure stroll into a story. You know, um, I posted a video, very nutty video. Sometimes I'm nuttier than a fruitcake. There are days, <laughs> there are days that um, I just uh, can't function. <laughs> but today's not one of those days. <laughs> As long as we stay, you know, in the past, we're okay. But this is a Walmart story. I'll get into my other stories, too. But, um, just so you know, you know, stealing, I understand it. I get it. Um, but, um, I'm not, um, really good at uh, catching people. Intentionally. Unintentionally, I'm very good. Very good. So I have this older gentleman coming in. And he has his camera with him. And he's speaking to a young girl on the phone. And he is Spanish speaking. And he doesn't speak English at all. But he shows me the camera and he shows me the pictures. And I unlock the cabinets. And I get out his product. Or, or I point him to uh, the correct place for his product. And um, he comes up and he pays for it. And he walks out with his camera. And then within a couple of minutes, he walks back in. And I'm like, well, this is very interesting. So he had spent, I don't know, $60, $70. And he goes to a place that is not on the camera that I can't see. So I don't want to just stand there and watch him. There's one place I can't see. And uh, that's where a lot of the mischief happens. But um, So I don't want to just stand there and be horrible, you know, to people. You know, make them feel guilty like they're stealing or something. So he didn't want a bag when he first bought the stuff. And some of it he put in his pocket. A lipstick I got out of the cabinet or something. And he paid for it. He paid for it, guys. And then other things he put in his shirt pocket or whatever. So he comes back in and he buys, he has several other things in his hand. And he, remember, he doesn't speak English. I don't speak Spanish, okay? And um, he comes up to the counter with these other items. So I'm pointing to the bag and I'm saying, let's put everything in the bag. And so he he puts his uh, the stuff he's already purchased in the bag and I ring up his other stuff, and I go, uh, get your, you know, I saw you put the lipstick in your pocket. So get your pocket, uh, and you put something else in your pocket. Uh, so just, you know, get it out of your pocket and put it in a bag. And then, you know, you got everything together. You know, um, I don't know why. I don't know why I I, I made him do that. Uh, but he didn't want to do it. And I'm like, well, that doesn't make any sense, you know. So, so I'm like, yeah, put it in your pocket. Get your pocket and put it in here. Yeah, I, I want to see that lipstick. You know, did you put it down somewhere? You paid for it, you know. He's paid for this. Did he lose it? What What happened to that lipstick in his pocket? And um, so now I'm getting kind of aggravated, okay? Because I'm thinking, what is going on? This man refuses to empty his pocket. And put this stuff in the bag. It's better to be in the bag. Now I'm determined. Okay. So I, I lift up my jacket and I take my pockets and my jean pockets. I empty them out and I say, pockets empty. <laughs> and he does. And when he does, he has all kinds of stuff in those pockets he didn't pay for, guys. And um, I didn't say a word. And I rang it all up. And I said, okay, now you owe. He had like $60 worth of stuff in his pocket. This is an older man. This is not a young man. This is a man probably in his 60s. And he's stealing stuff. And, um, you know, I, I accidentally caught him. But because he was acting so suspicious about not putting that lipstick in the bag, that made me very leery. Of what was going on. So yeah, he paid for everything he was stealing. 
and um, I haven't seen him since, but um, yeah, guys. These are the little things that happen at Walmart, and you don't intentionally do anything, you know. Uh, I might intentionally call, unintentionally call someone out, and they might have a knife and unintentionally kill me because I'm making them empty their pockets. But do we? <laughs> it's true. Um, I mean, we had, uh, I think I told you about the guy with the gun in the parking lot. And he hadn't made it in to the, you know, the store yet. And he was doing drugs in the parking lot. I still haven't heard anything about him, but they did come and tow his car. It's just a, it's just craziness out here. And then, and then, drama, drama, drama. You know, if any of you have ever worked, you know those gossips are there. They gotta build their drama up. They gotta build their drama down. I mean, you and everybody seems to like me. There's a few that I don't get a good vibe with. I'm nice to them. I stay away from them. But most most of the other employees talk to me. They come over to Cosmetics and they tell me a lot. And unfortunately, we have dramas going on all over the place. And guys, I tell them, I'm telling you, it's just a job. It's not your life. It's just a job that gets you money to live your life. There's, there's nothing, you know, that I, I have invested in this job. I do a good job. Uh, management's very pleased with me. They've all told me how many of them told me how happy they are with me and blah 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 and they compliment me a lot and um and that's fine but i'm not invested in this job it is a job i will give them 100 percent when i'm on the job but it is not my life it is not my life and i really hate the gossip <laughs> i don't even want to get into it because it's so political right now and um the things that are going on uh I really don't want to be involved. I don't get involved. I just try to listen and be supportive for everyone and every viewpoint and every side because I'm not involved. This is not my life. So <laughs> I thought I would tell you about that little incident at Walmart. Um, like I told you, I don't have a lot of incidents. Uh, my customers generally really like me. I give them good customer service. Uh, I have very few incidents. I I do have one big incident I had, but um, I don't know if I'll talk about it or not, simply because it was um, so many people were involved, and um, I'm just not sure whether I should even speak about it. So you have a great day, and thank you for watching. I'll see you next time, Camo.